Your report looking at CO2 concentrations looks both at 2024 and also 2025. So what were the findings and what are the indications? Yes, we've looked at what's happened in the last year and also what's going to happen in the coming year, because this is primarily a forecast uh, of what CO2 rise is happening, but we also like to check our forecast against past data as well. So last year, 2024, uh, at the specific place we make our forecast for, we, we make a prediction for the Mauna Loa Observatory in Hawaii, which is the longest running record of CO2 in the atmosphere, carbon dioxide. Uh, so it's very iconic. So what happened there last year was that they saw the largest rise on record from one year to the next. Uh, and what we're predicting for the coming year uh, is that the rise won't be quite as large, but still too large to keep us on track globally, the world, uh, with international targets to limit global warming to well below 2 degrees to well to 1.5 degrees. So it's very sobering findings. So CO2 concentrations aren't just rising, the rate at which they're rising is going up. Yes, they've been going up over decades, uh, in fact. They, they, they go up faster and slower slightly from year to year, depending on what's happening in the world. Things like wildfires can have a, a, an impact at a particular time. But on average, they've been going up, but they need uh, and they've been going up faster and faster, actually. But the rate of rise needs to be slowing, and ultimately uh, it needs to come to a halt. And then the rise needs to become a decline. The CO2 needs to start coming down in the atmosphere rather than building up.